Superstitions, rituals, and good luck charms are as old as, well, the game itself. They've always been a part of it. Anything to boost the psyche, to give yourself even an imagined edge, or just plain hope. And so it was that in the 1976 playoffs, the Maple Leafs searched for their inspiration, anything. They found it in pyramid power. Yes, pyramid power. It was the idea of Coach Red Kelly, whose daughter had suffered from severe headaches, but started sleeping with a small pyramid under her bed and soon after was cured. Kelly was looking for any way to help energize his team in a series against the two-time Stanley Cup champion Broad Street Bullies, who then Leafs owner Harold Ballard crazily predicted they would beat in five games. The Leafs were a formidable opponent for sure, with McDonald and Sittler up front, Turnbull and Salming on the blue line, and Tiger Williams there to provide some punch, literally. But the Flyers were really good and really tough. Kelly was convinced that pyramids were indeed a source of energy and strength, even if his players had their doubts. Whatever, the power of a good luck charm was clearly in evidence in the first two games in Philadelphia. It just wasn't theirs. Anthem singer Kate Smith and her rendition of God Bless America worked her magic again for the Flyers as they took a 2-0 series lead. So when the Leafs returned home, a desperate Kelly quietly hit a couple of pyramids under the bench and inside the dressing room and the Leafs won both brawl-filled games. After getting thumped again in Philly, when they returned home for game six, Kelly went public with the power of the pyramid and the magic it had already provided. It was a move designed as much to distract the media as it was to give the Leafs something in which to believe. And maybe, just maybe, it was working. I had a 12-foot pyramid in the dressing room, and we couldn't win a game against Philadelphia during the year. All our players, sat under that pyramid on a chair three at a time. I remember sitting inside this pyramid with my sticks and my skates and my sweater. The last guy to sit under there was Tiger Williams. And he came out from under there and he said, thank God, he said, I don't play for Philadelphia. I'd hate to have to sit under Kate Smith. In game six, energized by the pyramid, Sittler, who hadn't scored a goal in eight previous games, tied a playoff record with five goals and an assist in an 8-5 victory. It was the miracle Kelly had promised. He convinced us that we put him underneath our stalls while we got dressed and out on the bench. Um, so it worked. We, uh, we beat the Flyers, forcing them in the seventh game. Alas, it only seemed to work at home. The Leafs and their pyramids traveled to Philly for game seven, but the Flyers prevailed. In the end, the Leafs were overmatched by the Flyers, and the pyramids were no match for Kate Smith. <laughs>